Hi, I'm Dr. Sebastian Gonzalez, and the topic of this video is going to be uh, medial arch pain in runners. We're going to be looking at mainly here, and obviously need to rule out uh, things like fractures and joint problems uh, before we get to the topic of this video. Uh, but for the main, for for the for the most part, we're going to be talking about two muscles in particular: the muscle that flexes the big toe from the bottom part of the foot, and it's called the flexor hollicis brevis. And we're looking at the abductor hollicis, uh, sorry, this is the abductor hollicis, which is going to be in this region, closer to the bone on this side. Now, the intent of this video is mainly to show you. Uh, different anatomical structures in the area, figuring out what your basic anatomy is and if you have this problem at all in the first place. Lots of people try to go through usually to figure out, hey, maybe I can find some videos on how to stretch this area, but the fact of the matter is you don't know if you have it or not. Um, you should always go see a doctor to figure out 100% what it is, but at the same time, going in knowing uh, anatomical structures yourself, I think it helps you figure out and communicate with your doctor better. Right as you drop off into this area, it starts to get soft. Um, that muscle right there is going to be the abductor hollicis. If you move more into this region here, and especially you can feel um, when you start to bend the toe back, you'll feel some of the, t the, the, uh, the tendon pop up, uh, the one that attaches to the big toe. That is going to be the, the, the flexor hollicis brevis. So if there's any problems within these muscles here, tenderness-wise, in the soft spots, uh, you're probably looking at those muscles as being the culprit. If there's more problems uh, in this region here where it's more on the inside, it can be lots more things. It doesn't have to be plantar fascia, but it can be. Um, so if this is by chance your problem, you might want to find a different video to find more information. The steps I would take to uh, work on this uh, in any room, whether you're in a therapy office or on your own, uh, is probably going to be number one, figure out what you have. Uh, second is you have to make sure you remove the scar tissue from the area because lots of times these overuse types of conditions with no uh, incident of basically tearing, uh, scar tissue develops in the area and it becomes much firmer. If the firmness or the elasticity of the muscle does not come back, um, basically a lot of times training very early on can create further damage. Treatment for this area, I prefer to use something called active release technique, which is a very specific type of deep tissue work. Uh, basically, you would get into the area uh, mainly with a very firm contact, not pressing in the area, but creating tension. Uh, then we would basically move the muscle underneath our contact point, uh, creating basically removing some of the scar tissue which forms from this condition. This condition would be considered an overused type of injury where basically scar tissue builds up within the area and for that reason it's, it's actually a, it's a very, becomes a firmer structure in some cases actually um, when it's around the tendon, the tendon starts to thicken and becomes less pliable. Uh, so mainly what the goal would be, number one goal would be to make the tissue uh, more, more, more pliable really. If you treat this area effectively um, and the runner goes out and tests it, a lot of times they do feel a huge response. Uh, they feel way better and that's going to be also great feedback knowing that I'm in the right areas, uh, treating the right muscles, and there's not a stress factor as well. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, feel free to go onto the website, check out the other videos we have. Uh, I've been trying to put out tons of videos educationally um, to basically teach everyone how to know their body better. Uh, there's actually a book as well, it's called Prevention of Overuse and Sports Injuries. Um, I wrote it. Uh, it was on 10 different cases that basically I've, I've had that I see continually throughout the years and it seems like um, there's lots of different um, common factors that these people have that they probably could have, been, probably could have prevented um, if they would have known about it ahead of time. So go ahead and check that book out and thanks for watching.